Hey guys, welcome to another video for the Redmi K20 Pro. Now today we are talking about the review of this ROM that I was very very excited about back in the day when it came, that is in the Santara OS. I've been using it for two days, we're going to see a complete review of this and before we do that, if you haven't already, please subscribe and hit the notification bell icon so that you get notified every time I upload a video. In the description of each video, you will find the link to our Telegram community where we are about to hit a thousand members. So please go ahead and support us there. Last but not the least, if you think the hard work is worth the effort, please click on the join button and support the channel. Now, without further ado, hello awesome people. Welcome to PhoneOps. My name is Kalash. Let's get going. have a k20 pro with nusantara os and what you're looking at right now the version is 2.8 you do have the gf's version that we are using there is a sort of a change log it does say always make a nand backup be safe uses mium vendor and perf kernel we're going to look at the device change log before we proceed so switch to skia rendering backend to open gl correct vb meta flags argument added f2 fs to cache partition and f stab so this what you see over here is not exactly the f2 fs version but i'll tell you something before we with the review this is one of the smoothest most fluid roms that i've used for this device we will talk about gaming and we will talk about benchmarks and we will talk about the features that are there and that are missing and stuff like that but this is absolutely smooth it is a pleasure to use this rom as a daily driver now to add to this someone on phone ops chat group yesterday me to use a different build which was a test build for the 27th of april now that is a gaming performance oriented build is what you see over here it has disabled force encryption implement gpu turbo version 6.1 props added usb c headphone support that is a first for a k20 pro at least that is what i've seen address smart charging denials needs testing on perf kernel disable wi-fi aware feature and optimize zram zero so you can dirty flash this over builds from 17th of april and later now what you see over here is nusantara os of course and let's start with the launcher so if you go to settings you have a very 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 basic no nonsense launcher very few features but the features are to the point not a lot of you know options which will confuse you or make you think what is this and what is that and to the left you do have google discover which you know is subtle and butter smooth if you have a look the animations are super smooth that is what i liked about this particular rom no matter where no matter what i rarely like very very rarely see any stutters at all now apart from this when you long press on the home screen you have widgets and then you can directly go to the launcher settings and you do have styles and wallpapers which of course is customization which we will talk about in some time so moving on as you can see over here, if you go to the multitasking menu, you have screenshot, you have kill app, you have clear all. So those options are added as well. And once you go to multitasking, once again, you have app info, you have split screen, which is working like a charm. So all the Android 11 goodies are there and they are working great. So that was about the initial impressions, the launcher. Now let's move on to the aesthetics part. How does the ROM look and feel? Now, the first thing that I would say over here, just go to settings. Now, see this? This, this, this is not a stutter. This is sort of a stop pause animation which gets you into settings and settings is completely reorganized. It might not be a brand new look, but that is what I prefer, you know, ROM developers trying to differentiate themselves from others. And that is what Santara over here have done really really well so let's actually go to system and then go to the android version which should give us more details so go to about and okay. first things first have a look it looks really really great it says processor chipset storage yeah that 5gb ram bug i don't know when they'll go away but uh, 1080 by 2340 pixels redmi k20 pro android version 11 security update is april and this is the nusantara version as you can see it is official and that is the name of the maintainer kudos to you buddy great job yes you bad <laughs> So that was everything about the build info, but we didn't check the kernel version. So let's actually go ahead and 
check the kernel version build number security update kernel so the kernel is a perf kernel over here right and look at this okay if you press lol are you crazy and again faster again lol so yeah it finally gets you there so there are some fun stuff added by some developers which is really really nice now moving on to settings you don't really have anything that is different from other custom roms you have all your android 11 goodies here and everything is pretty much working absolutely fine but when you go to this particular section called nusantara wings is where the magic happens you have themes you have notifications and in notifications you have sort of a ton of customization that you see and you do have miscellaneous customization as well now i've not touched this menu to make this rom my own but you do see that you have these many fingerprint icons and you have the recognizing animation which you can set it to something else moving on you have battery options carrier label clock options icon manager quick settings traffic indicators and you have buttons navigations and power menu so a lot of customization more than what you would need now you do see that the battery is 11 percent so we'll get back to the battery life but as far as features and customization is concerned this rom is there it gives you almost all the options that you would need Calling for me has been absolutely fine. This ROM doesn't have a built-in call recorder because I'm using the G apps build, but the network stability, the Wi-Fi performance, the Bluetooth connection, everything has been absolutely fine. Even the camera, the front and back cameras are working absolutely okay. I did not install G cam or I did not install ANX camera on this, but more or less it works fine. Now let's move on. To the security part that is where your face unlock and fingerprint unlock comes into the picture so as you can see over here you do have screen of fod now this i will tell you it is 95 percent there like there are different lighting conditions and different scenarios wherein this fingerprint scanner would take some time to recognize and sometimes it would not but 95 percent of the times if you add your you know thumb twice or thrice you should be good to go face unlock is there face unlock works fine and as far as the security update is concerned that itself is the latest now moving on you will ask me about safety net so safety net is absolutely fine and let's talk about uh, the drm certification widewine l1 and stuff so let's go to drm info all right now you do see over here it's a security level widewine l1 now i don't have amazon prime signed in so i've not really gone ahead and checked that moving on if we go to settings again we will have a look at the battery section now the reason why this is important is because fast charging for me works fine now the reason i'm saying it works fine and not excellent is because the charging speed is a little slow compared to the stock rom because i am using this 27 watt fast charger which otherwise works absolutely okay but on this rom it is a little slow but as you can see over here should last about 6 45 pm and you do see that I have 1 hour and 43 minutes of usage for the screen and you have a 30 hours back is when I charged it. Now if you go to the battery usage, you will see that I've had around, I don't know, voice calls of 2 hours and 30 minutes. So more or less the phone is performing brilliant when it comes to the battery life. I have played PUBG on this and I would not say that it performs so well that you can use it for competitive. No, it is still perf kernel. But yes, I would tell you this that if you are a person who plays PUBG for one or two hours or Call of Duty Mobile for one or two hours, this ROM is there. Just install ANX camera and you should be absolutely good to go. Now moving on, let's actually talk about some raw performance. We do have Geekbench over here. So let's go to Geekbench and let's go to history. This is the run that we did before starting the shoot of this video. 639 single core, 2256 multi core. So these scores are not through the roof, but definitely I can tell you they are working absolutely fine. The score is decent and apart from this i don't really see any any problem so what do we have here you know when we sum up a video or you know complete rom review 
what do we look at the phone charge is fine the phone discharge is fine the security options of fingerprint and face unlock are working fine if you install gcam or anx camera your camera needs are taken care of the ui is modern it looks beautiful it is slick there are no major bugs which would stop me from using this as a daily so i'm using it since the last two days gaming is absolutely okay always on display fingerprint while the display is off so fod is working absolutely fine i've not had any crackling issues or random reboot boots or any force closures of any sort so all in all this is one package that you should try and you should definitely let me know in the comment section what do you think i am planning to you know live stream with this particular rom today or tomorrow we do have the rog over here so maybe we'll continue streaming with that but all in all i will give a big thumbs up to the nusantara project they are doing a great job i really really like this rom let's see how it goes for you share your experience in the comment section until the next one, this is Kailash signing off at Phone Ops. Keep smiling. Take care. Goodbye.